Hello, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank, thank you for joining me on this live broadcast. My name is Erin from Juniper and Oaks. I am a crochet pattern designer. I love to design patterns using interesting stitches for you to use around your home. I really like to focus on running crochet alongs um, so that we can all crochet these items together uh, and community. I also have this Crazy Lady Yarn podcast, which you are watching right now. And um, this is just where I come on YouTube, chit chat with my crochet community, and we just talk about whatever comes to mind. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get more focused on these episodes. And today you are joining me for Sips and Whips. So I hope that you have brought your favorite drink. Uh, this, I was going to have the can here. But this is just something that I uh, picked up at the store last night. This is the Strawberries and Cream Dr. Pepper. Have you ever tried one of these? I just poured it, took a sip myself just right now. And um, this tastes like Easter. <laughs> if anything could taste like Easter, it'd be this Dr. Pepper uh, Strawberries and Cream. It's very sweet and very fruity. I don't know if I'd call it my favorite drink. I just got it and I got a whole 12 pack because I was like, oh, I was at Walmart and it was just right there at the front door. And I was like, I've heard about these. I heard they were good. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it is good, but I prefer a regular Dr. Pepper. So grab your sips and grab your whips. What are whips? It's not like psh, whip. That's not the whip I'm talking about. The whip that I'm talking about is crochet whips. Crochet work in progress. W-I-P work in progress, whip, get it? So if you're on um, my website and my Instagram and you hear me ever talk about whips, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about works in progress. Before we get too far, if you are watching on YouTube and you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video so that more people can watch. If you're watching on Facebook, that's great too. No matter where you're watching from, leave me a comment below with what are you sipping on? If I was commenting below, I would say that I'm sipping on this strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper. It's, it's okay. It's very sweet. It's very Eastery, like I said. So leave me a comment with what are you sipping on? And also, what are you whipping on? Is that how I would say it? What are you working on? What are your works in progress? I would love to know. So go ahead. Um, I would love to hear from you. I was at a coffee shop earlier today with um, Taylor from Begs by Bento. If you follow her on Instagram, she just posts really fun crochet related reels and they are awesome. Taylor and I are both local to each other. We don't live too far. So we'd like to meet up just about monthly or every two months and um, crochet together. So we did that this morning and ooh, whenever I have a latte, for the rest of the day, I'm just jazzed. So I'm feeling just jazzed. So let me take a moment just to calm myself down and we'll talk about whips. I have so many projects on my hook. Luckily I have more than one hook, but I have so many projects on my hook that um, it's hard to keep track. I should have wrote them all down, but I have like gathered most of them that I could find into one spot so I can give them a chance. Um, and I'm excited to share them with you. Barbara says that she's working on a corner to corner baby blanket. That's patriotic colors. So fun. I love corner to corner. I love baby blankets. So that is perfect. Um, I am also working on a corner to corner project. This is something that um, I was like kind of in between projects. I think I was waiting for like a whole box of yarn that I finally got. But while I was waiting for that um, box of yarn, I pulled out some leftover yarn from my, my corner to corner Nordic blanket. So this red and white, where is it? Well, Anyway, I think the project might be in a project bag somewhere. But I combined all of this yarn. This was the yarn I used for my Nordic um, winter corner to corner Afghan, um, the cow that I ran in 2001. 
Um, the yarn that I used was this Swish Worsted yarn from We Crochet and Knit Picks. Um, I had a bunch left over, put it all together. And um, then I started working on like a striped corner to corner blanket. So I hope that this um, winter I will have a pattern, like a Christmassy striped pattern using this yarn. I'm like looking at this questioningly because I thought that I put the uh, the blanket in here that I was working on, but it's only like, I only got like a few rows before my box of yarn arrived. So this is just moving on um, for later. That's my first whip is a corner to corner striped Christmas blanket, red and white. Um, corner to corner blanket. Sure hope I can find that whip later on. Um, Judy says that she is sipping on Hill's Brother Cappuccino French Vanilla. Ooh, I love me a cappuccino. Love French Vanilla. That sounds good. She's in between projects right now. Uh, I hope that this video gives you inspiration to um, pick up your hook and find a new project. Sometimes it's okay not to have a project, and that's just fine. But um, if you are more in, um, inspired, let me know. Um, for those of you, you who don't know, I'm a crochet pattern designer and I, um, tend to just crochet patterns that I'm going to publish myself on my website, or maybe, uh, I would say happily hooked, but they're no longer running, right? Crochet Foundry Magazine. I have a couple of patterns in there. Um, and then just collaborations with other designers. So I'm always crocheting something new and it's usually something that I'm making up as I go along. I have some collaborative crochet alongs. And so what I mean by that is um, this like corner to corner Afghan has 12 squares and they were all designed by somebody else like this Nordic star pattern I designed, but other designers, you know, made this one like um, high desert yarn. She made that one. Um, but they all send me their patterns and then I crochet them up into one blanket and we sell the pattern um, together as a collaborative project. So I do those type of things, but rarely do I crochet up somebody else's pattern. But I wanna talk a little bit about um, how lately I've been wanting to crochet for fun because usually it's for business. And sometimes when you do like a hobby for business, it becomes no longer fun, right? Cause you're just like, gotta get this pattern out. Gotta like make some money on this thing or get the views or whatever. But I'm starting to like also do that, but um, work on some fun projects. So where should I start? Right now I am using this paint box cotton yarn from Lovecrafts. This was the ball, this was the box of yarn I um, was talking about. This big box of yarn for this um, project that I'm going to do um, this spring, a collaborative project waiting for the big box of yarn and finally came. And part of it was for this collaboration and then another part is for fun. So this yarn I am using to make up a t-shirt. I do not design garments, but I um, have been trying to crochet my own garments. So this is the, uh, this one I'm wearing, I crocheted myself. And this has been the only garment I've made so far for myself. I made a romper for my baby last year. And then this, so I'm trying to get into crocheting my own wardrobe. So the next step in that is crocheting this t-shirt. This is called the Sarah T from Sunflower Cottage Crochet. And I'm really excited. It's going to have this purple as the bottom. And then kind of when it gets up to my chest, it's going to change into like a light gray and kind of lacy. And it's going to be great. So I have finished, sorry, um, one panel. I finished the purple part on one of my panels and now I need to add the gray to the top. And then, so now I'm working on the backside panel in purple before I do move to the gray part. So that's one of the whips I'm working on. I'm crocheting this shirt. Um, I wanted to do this video yesterday, but I ran out of time because I was out gardening, digging up a whole bunch of dirt and mulch I was getting out of this trailer. Oh, it was a busy day outside. I scooped mulch and dirt for three hours, <laughs> teaching myself how to garden. Um, 
So I wanted to do this video yesterday, but didn't have time. <laughs> so I'm doing it today, kind of spur of the moment, because it was still like, I want to get this video out. I want to chat with you guys about my whips. So that means that I don't have notes. I wanted to do show notes with like, here's the patterns that I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to link to all the patterns, but sorry, I'm going to do that later. Um, so be on the lookout for the show notes later to the pattern. But this is the Sarah T from Helen of Sunflower Cottage Crochet. Um, I know that her pattern is available on Ravelry and Etsy. Um, she does have some free patterns on her website. I'm not sure if this is one of them. The Sarah T. So that's one garment that I'm going to work on. Then I also, in some sort of blog hop or other, got a free download of her Abby T. Yeah, Abby T. And, um... I forget what color I'm going to make that up in. I think it's this one. Um, this I got on sale at my local yarn store. It's the Concha by Mira Soul. Um, yeah, this was on like their clearance sale. So it was originally like $22 and I got it half off for $11. Um, what am I trying to say? I'm going to do the Abby T in this. That's also by Helen of Sunflower Cottage Crochet. She's like one of my crochet besties. So I like to, um, I'm excited to crochet my first t-shirts using her patterns. Yay. Yay, Helen. Um, and then I purchased the Franny T pattern from Franny T from what's her name? Two Brothers Blankets. Have you ever heard of her? Michelle from Two Brothers Blankets. Um, her, I think she originally started designing blankets or making blankets, but now she mostly does garments. Um, she's launching a book on March 24th, 2003. So guys, if you're watching live, she's launching a book in three days. Um, I'll put a link when I do my show notes and stuff because um, I'm kind of helping her launch that book. It's a... It's called Crochet Makes for Men. The ebook pre order is available on Amazon. Um, there'll be a hard copy, like a paperback cover of the book, but you can't pre order that, but it'll be available on March 24th. Anyway, it's Crochet Makes for Men. It's um, hats and um, sweaters and stuff for men. But this Franny tee has like these frilly, frilly sleeves. And I'm going to make it in this blue. This is the Remix Light by Baracco. And um, it's from France. This I think I got on a percentage sale. This says $14. I'm not sure if I spent that much or not. Um, yeah. I've got three garment patterns in the works. I guess the Franny Tee and the Abby Tee I haven't started yet because I'm going to finish. Sarah T first. Have you ever worked up a garment? Um, what have been some of your favorites? Which one should I check out? Leave a comment below and I would love to check them out. Um, I'm new to making garments and I would love to get some recommendations. So leave me comments with your garment recommendations and resources I should check out. Um, got a sip. Um, if you're just now watching, I've also told you guys in the comments, please leave a comment about what, um, you're sipping while we talk about our whips. What are you sipping? This is the strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper drink, and it's very sweet. It's, <laughs> I said it tastes like Easter. I can definitely get strawberries and cream in there. I prefer a regular Dr. Pepper, but this is okay. No, I'm not being paid by Dr. Pepper. Okay, um, speaking of recommendations and garments, I have never crocheted socks before. Have you ever crocheted socks? I need a good beginner-friendly crochet sock pattern. Um, because if you follow me on Instagram, um, you might have seen a reel that I made of when I went to, it was called the Yarn Yogi, I think that's called, the Traveling Yarn Yogi, something like that. 
which is this yarn bus in Atlanta. This bus pulled up to the Crochet Fashion Week, and inside is a yarn store, guys. Traveling yarn store. And it's um not like department store yarns, but like um, hand-dyed yarns, kind of boutique-y yarns. So I purchased um, a couple skeins, a little, little mini skein, and then this purpley purple. I got this purple from, it's called Forbidden Fiber, something or other, sticker, Forbidden Fiber. Anyway, I think this is made in Tennessee. Or is it this one that's made in Tennessee? I think this is a yarn company in Tennessee. And I live in Tennessee, so this is why I bought this. And my favorite color is purple. Um, this is from, yeah, Forbidden Fiber. Probably Forbidden Fiber Company. There's a sticker that's covering that. Forbidden Fiber Company. And um, this is a... Boo, 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 boo. doesn't say what weight it is, but I think sock weight, fingering weight. Um, and then this is going to be for the toe and the heels. I'm hoping it's enough yarn. I don't know. I've never made socks before. So if you have a good sock pattern, let me know. This is the colorway Dawn Till Dusk, and it's by Emma's Yarn. So it's practically perfect smalls. So I'm excited to make my first pair of socks. We'd love some recommendations. Um, yeah, and this isn't really on my hook, but some projects that are always in the back of my mind. Um, I have them displayed like in baskets in my bedroom, um, which is where I store my yarn so that I can keep on looking at them. And they, um, I know I'm going to make these t-shirts and I'm gonna make these socks as soon as I have time. <laughs> time. It's not very helpful to have so many whips because sometimes your brain gets a little scattered, but listen, as crocheters, we all know there's different projects for different times, right? Like I could pick up a striped corner to corner blanket and just crochet that any old time. Like having a conversation with a friend, I can just crochet that because I don't really have to think about it. It's just um, automatic. Patterns like maybe socks. I don't know. I've never made socks. But like a more intricate pattern, like this mosaic and Nordic cow pattern, you need like time to focus. And this is like quiet time crochet. But then there's other like, while I'm watching my kids play, I can do a striped blanket. Um, I have, I've mentioned this yarn in another video. I did an unboxing for this video. This is High Desert Yarn, um, hand dyed yarn from Joanna. Shh, um, I have three skeins of this worsted weight yarn that I'm going to use in a cow. I'm going to design you guys a crochet along. It's going to be a pillow crochet along. I hope to do it late April, but listen, it's already late March, so I don't have the pillow made up yet. So hopefully I can do that, can get it done. But I'm going to be using this. Um, Malva's for Piper yarn. Um, you may have heard me call this Piper's Bouquet. Um, that's what this is. It's going to be for crochet along. Again, not currently on my hook, but I like to think of it as work in progress because I have the yarn. I have a plan for it. I just need to like actually get it done. Um, comment below with what you're working on. What yarn do you have? What are you going to use it? What are you going to work with it? Type it below because right now I'm going to go and grab a big work in progress that I'm doing. Um, it's on the couch over here. Sorry. I'm back. Um, I just want to show you this little sneak peek, sneak peek of a blanket that I'm going to be launching. This is part of that collaborative project that I was, oh, Barbara, sorry. <laughs> um, she wrote a whole paragraph and then her chat froze. I'm sorry, I hate technology issues. Oh, anyway, this is, um, I'm almost done with this. I'm working on the border and then I have to weave in my ends, but this is a blanket for a collaborative project that I'm working on that will be released later on this spring. 
Aren't the colors just so springy? Fortunately, this won't be ready for this Easter, um, but you can get it later on this spring and then maybe crochet this blanket up for next Easter. I love these pastel -y colors, but it's just perfect for spring, isn't it? Um, big whip. I wish I could show you the full thing and talk more about it, but I think I'm just going to keep that a secret for now. Just um, if you want to know more about this project, follow along in my newsletter. Go to my website and there should be some sort of pop-up to sign up for my newsletter. Um, and then I just email you guys whenever I come out with new projects. That's probably the best way. Um, I put stuff here on YouTube and on Facebook and Instagram as well. But you know how like the algorithm works where you, you don't always see all of my content. Um, but if you get on my email newsletter, then you'll be able to see everything. Let's see. Barbara said she is sipping on boring water. Hey, boring water is not bad. I have my water bottle right here. There's nothing wrong, wrong with water. This is good. <laughs> she says that she has knitted a lot of socks, but has yet to do crochet socks. I've heard knitting socks is a lot of fun. I know how to knit. I once taught myself how to knit, and then I, like, checked that box and, like, learned how to knit. Can do it. <laughs> and then I haven't picked it up since. Um, I got enough to crochet, so that's what I've been doing. Um, so... Someone on Facebook said that she searched YouTube and found a few sock tutorials. Maybe I'll do that, um, but she's never made them before. My goal, mark my words, in 2023, I'm going to crochet me a pair of socks. Notice I said pair. Hopefully I don't bite my words later, and um, I've only crocheted one. I hope to get a whole pair done. We'll see. Um, so another thing in that secret project that's coming up later this spring. Oh, I forgot I pulled a bunch of it out. Is this, should we see? What are you, any guesses on what it's gonna be? Ah! It's not gonna work for my ponytail right now, but I need to get going on this. <laughs> I've been working on finishing this blanket that I need to work on this project as well. So this collaboration, you can see, is going to have a hat and a blanket and who knows what else. It's going to be so fun. So fun. Um, I'm really excited. So there's a lot of works in progress for that. But like I said, like recently I picked up gardening. Um, so I've been doing a lot of outside stuff, which is great instead of so much crochet stuff. Um, so hopefully it all gets done when it needs to get done but I would prefer to be outdoors and just sitting inside all day. Actually, I might prefer to sit inside all day, but I know it's healthier to get outside. Um, and now that it's spring, so much more time outside. Okay, that's what's on my hook. So I'm like, things needing to be started. I'll get started after I finish other things. Um, there are some completed projects in the works that have yet to be released and published. Um, so I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope that you're subscribed um, to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and press subscribe right now so you don't miss that. Um, and then you just get notified. Um, hit that bell, right? And then you're notified anytime I come out with any other podcasts like this. And then I do other yarn related content. I chit chat with other crochet designers. Um, I do some unboxing videos and I also do stitch tutorials and pattern walkthroughs of my patterns. Not all of my patterns, just some of them. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube and then also subscribe to my newsletter. I'm not sure if I have that link ready or available, but if you go to junipernoaks.com, a pop-up should appear or there should be an obvious way to get my newsletter. Um, so here are the projects that I am going to release soon. I wanted to release them earlier, but sometimes you just run out of time. So for Mother's Day, this was going to be a Valentine's project, but this is going to be for Mother's Day. I have zoop, this heart in the basket pillow pattern. Um, 
This is using really nice Honey Bunny yarn from Hobie. Um, if you were following me, you, you, you might know that um, I released a pattern using this yarn um, called my Mosaic Hearts basket pattern. So just like a little basket um, I was using this yarn. I, my goal was to release this pattern for Thanksgiving, but I didn't have enough time to crochet it up and get it tested. So I quickly made a little basket and got that instead. Ooh, I'm tired. This is so cozy. So this is the heart in a basket pillow pattern, and I'm going to have this released for Mother's Day. Um, so maybe later in April or early May. Probably later in April, right? It should get out there so that you guys can make this up for Mother's Day. Um, be on the lookout for that. If you don't know, I also have a heart in the basket wall hanging. It's really nice. So this will be kind of in that same collection. What else? Um, not typical of me. Usually I do like blankets and pillows for my own patterns. But here's a little pattern. It's a clutch or a notions bag or something. And this is going to be hopefully one day on the frills crochet foundry blog hop that you can get free on my website. It's not available yet. I'm kind of a backup person. Um, so if they, someone drops out of the blog hop or doesn't um, have their pattern ready, then I can fill in that spot. So that's what this is. Pretty cute. A little notions bag, something different for me, but I just had an idea and I ran with it. Um, I think that's it. Probably later on, I'm going to look in my uh, stash and be like, oh, look at all these other works in progress, but I'm trying to limit my whips. I have all these ideas and then a few things on my hook. But, um, oh, there's a bag pattern. I'm going to try to make a bag pattern for that collaboration project. I just need to actually sit down and crochet. Thank you guys for chatting with me. This has been fun. It's been good for me to kind of sort through all the yarn that I have and the projects that are on my hook and also the ones that are in my head with like um, these. And then also my high desert yarn, yarn for that pillow cow. Like I need to get working on this stuff. <laughs> um, comment below. I've told you many times. So if you're watching the replay, that's okay. Just keep on commenting um, as you go along. But comment below um, with any patterns that you think that I should work out. So if there's like some of your favorite designers have a pattern that you think would be fun if I featured, let me know in the comments. If um, if there's some like stitch tutorials like, hey, this is what you should include in your pillow cow. Let me know because I need inspiration. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I don't know if I can do this. This is actually, it's getting worse. Someone said they really love it. I think it's too girly sweet. I can't do it. Sorry, Dr. Pepper. Moving on to my water. All right. I like to stick to about 30 minutes with these and we are getting to be about there. I appreciate Barbara and Judy for commenting along and random Facebook user. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I'm hoping to release consistent YouTube content as we go along. I recorded a day in the life video um, last week, so I'm working on getting that edited and then I hope to post that maybe next Monday. And just try to come up with some sort of schedule for my YouTube videos. I... Hope that you enjoy being a part of my uh, crochet community. I'm so glad that you're part of mine. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hit the little bell so you're notified anytime I come out with any yarn-related content, such as this or stitch tutorials, unboxing videos, stuff like that. And then I saw someone do it, but hit the thumbs up so that more people can find this video and follow along. Barbara and Judy, <laughs> you guys are my people today. Thank you for chit-chatting along for this whole entire video. 
Happy crocheting!